Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cal Radia. Now, when we left off, we had been successful in our capture of Cherise, finally, and we have not been awarded it, because Lich King Malyron, obviously, as we had already been awarded Tolga, which was very nice of him indeed, he has decided to award Cherise to himself. So, we will just have to deal with that and move on. And move on we shall to Karaf Castle, oh yes. So, I think what we will be doing, this episode at least, or at least I'm going to aim for it, is to take Karaf Castle and Waya Castle, all the way over there. Because then, the Serenids will only have three strongholds remaining, and whoa, that was a little bit too fast on the zoom in there. <laughs> and now let's just see, oh... Okay, there's quite a few units here, I'm actually wondering whether they have any rogue mages. <gasps> they have two necromancers! One Dark Mage, and a couple of Mercenary Mages, but of course they do not go into anything else. They have some Blazing Hand units, which would be rather nice. They have one Bandit Mage as well, so I think this is definitely something we want to go in on. However, as you can see by the amount that they have in the garrison, and... Whoa, yeah, actually quite a bit. 250, I believe. So, let us now build our ladders. Six hours it will take. I'm pretty sure that no Serenid vassals will turn up because even though there were a couple of vassals attempting to take Cherise, we were able to fend them off and indeed our Delthusum Empire vassal compatriots were able to fight them off without our assistance whatsoever. So yeah, that was rather nice of them. I must admit to be rather active on the defensive front. However, of course they were defending their lieges. Actual thief and not ours. So yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate, but never mind. We will hopefully be able to take out their mages because apparently we are getting absolutely wrecked by them. Or maybe not. Because now our mages have started firing away and we should be okay. Now, I do have the fireball skill. I did learn that and we are ready to use it. So let's hopefully get a chance to use it because at the moment our Master Mages are doing an excellent job, and I will be getting my Fireball out and using against those fellows over there! If this fellow would move out my way. Yes, there we are. Oh yes, there we are! Whoa, okay, that is a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, okay, I am very pleased with that, that is for sure. Unfortunately, I'm only able to use three or four casts of it, so I definitely need some more magic power. And maybe... Uh, maybe I can find an item or... Oh my goodness! Okay! <laughs> Well, this is definitely when I need my fireball. Hopefully it will rejuvenate itself. Uh, let's use our lightning bolt instead, and oh my goodness, look at that. I think I just leveled up. Oh yes, look at that absolute devastation. Arcane is used to this sort of situation, and he's used to this as well. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good whatsoever. They do have master archers. Can I go up the stairs here? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Anyone following me? I have my staff at the ready. No, apparently not. They are a little bit too afraid of Arcane's amazing combat abilities. <laughs> oh no, I don't think they should be, but nevertheless, we will take advantage of this situation and deal some damage with our lightning bolt. And now, we cannot see the damage currently being done, of course, because we killed so many units and... No, no, no. I am not wanting to die. Not just yet. Oh, the text log is going to come back in just a moment. Now, one of you actually mentioned that it might be a good idea to get a spell shield, or at least a spell that is named shield, and it would be rather nice to get that so that we can prevent ourselves from dying. That would be wonderful. So let's try to get a few snipes off here while our units clean up the rest of these units, and whoa! Look at how many bodies there are! I'm pretty sure most of these are Serenid bodies, hopefully none of our forces, but... Who knows? We could always revive them or resurrect them once again, considering they are mostly mummy footmen. And some high priests. Wow, we actually only lost undead units by the looks of things, and a couple of orcs, but they live for battle after all. And 250 it was, so there we are. Not bad at all. Now, the vassal was able to escape, but I don't think that's really too much to worry about. We are able to now take our blazing hand units that we have never used previously, so this will be rather fun to see how they do. And, whoa, we have a lot of new units here, I must admit. Kurgit Shamans. Ah. It's pretty nice. Okay, where is that bandit mage? There he is. Join us. Oh, yes. 
Okay, Dark Mages, wonderful. Necromancers, they turn into Liches, I believe, so we have to get those leveled up. And what else do we want? Elven Rangers, they do have that armor that has a high polygon count or something that causes a few issues when loading in, so I will not be using those just yet. But I believe it is fixed in the next version, according to one of the people working on the mod, so thank you very much for that. And now we should just take some other mages, or maybe some priests. Some priests might be nice, even though that's necessarily not in keeping with our character. And to that end, we do have mummy priests, so I suppose the undead can also have priests, but I suppose having a human-style priest then maybe not really suitable. So let's take some orcs instead. Why not? So we have one more space which I will be using for the various amounts of skeletons and zombies that we will acquire after I exit here. So let us take a look at how much space we have. Hmm, quite a suitable amount. Okay, let's take a few of these. We are close to Cherie's after all. We will be able to go and sell pretty easily. And I will be asking no rewards because I really do not think that he is going to award this to us, even if we did, and I do not really want to defend it. <laughs> Suffice it to say, yes. Okay, ask no rewards, there we are, thank you very much. And now let's see how many skeletons or zombies we acquire. 81! 81 skeletons, oh my goodness. Okay, they are going to be semi-useless, perhaps, in the next siege, because if you don't place them at the beginning, I'm pretty sure they won't spawn in even to the third round, maybe? Hmm. Not too sure on that just yet, but we'll see, shall we? I think we are going to be sieging the next castle relatively quickly, so let's just make sure that I sell everything that is not particularly useful, and then we will head on. Okay, so on our way to Weyer Castle, we were moving at the speed of lightning with our speed up time technique, and we run into various amounts of vassals from the Saranids. Now, I'm pretty sure we should be able to take these guys on. Absolutely every one of them. However, I'm just checking the amounts of Mamluks they currently have in their armies because that is basically the only thing I'm a little bit wary of. Now, this fellow has seven, which is quite considerable. That guy has two. So, so far we have 11 with these two as well. And he has none? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I think we should, in theory, be able to take these guys on. Let's just take a look. Oh, okay. We are very low in HP, so I think what I will do is retreat, make the smart decision for once, and head back to Cherie's and revive ourselves. Make sure that we are rejuvenated for the upcoming skirmish. So, I will be cutting away, and I will see you soon. Okay, so... On our way to Weyer Castle, we have encountered two more vassals, but I think we will just ignore those for now. And we will be leveling up our cane before we head on any further. Now, this is a very momentous occasion indeed, because we have finally acquired 51 HP. We are going to be increasing our strength by one, and we will be increasing our two-handed. Hmm, a little strange. We may need some more Weapon Master, so let's get a little bit more in that, shall we? Hmm. I was going to include power throw a little bit more because then that would make it a little bit more accurate perhaps, more damage as well on direct hits. Yeah, I think we'll do that, why not? And there we are, that should be fine. Now, the best part about this, of course, is the fact that we can now head to our necromancy tab, if we had any space, that is, and we could potentially summon shadows. So I can only assume that that would be very nice to do once we have the space, of course. Now, these fellows have, oh my, four Dark Mages right here in the prison hold. That would be wonderful to take. I'm hoping in the end, after we have potentially taken all of the Saranid Fiefs, if that is going to be the case, that is, if they don't make peace, anyway, that we will have a rather large amount of Liches, Necromancers, Dark Mages, and maybe even be able to find a couple more silver golems along the way. So, anyway, we will be heading in here, and I was not able to calculate the amount that was in here at the moment, but I'm pretty sure, even though they have quite a large number of mages, we should be alright to deal with them. Now, I am going to be selling these fellows back, because I really have no need of them to stay with me, and maybe later on when we fight the 
additional factions, such as the Blazing Hand. I believe they are going to be one of the most difficult to deal with. Considering they have, well, I would think they have higher magic resistance as well as the Rydus Majocracy. So we'll have to be a little cautious when dealing with them. Now, fire the fireballs. Yes, fire the fireballs. Yes, that's definitely something that we want to say right there. <laughs> we want to cast our fireballs into their lines. Oh, yes, that is good. And, oh, why are my mages going up there? No. Oh, my goodness. I actually forgot to <laughs> hold position on them. That is terrible. Well, never mind. We do have some mummy master archers. Really? Wow. Okay. I was not aware that we had some of those. I really randomly click sometimes in garrisons to get a couple of units, but <laughs> there we are. It's not bad. And thankfully our units are able to move by, although not entirely well. Hmm. Well, I took out quite a few units, I have to admit, from our first volley of fireballs up there, so I suppose that's alright. However, we no longer have any fireballs to use, and... We will have to head up there and, whoa, they actually still have 60 units available, so this is going to be an old-fashioned style of siege. We are going to kill one of them, they'll kill one of us, and so on and so forth. Oh, yes. Oh, my. They've actually gained reinforcements. We might have issues here, because usually, as you know, with our mages, our dark mages and our drow master mages, they are not necessarily willing to stand up against such an onslaught of magical energy. But thankfully we do have mummy priests as well, they are getting into the fray right there, and I'm just hoping that they will heal some of our units if indeed we do get injured, because I know for a fact that I would be sorely disappointed if one of these silver or maybe even the stone golem would get taken out. Now a dwarf paragon has died, which is not necessarily something I'm very pleased of. They're actually taking out a lot of our high tier units at the moment, which is very unfortunate, but I'm hoping that our losses will not outweigh the gains of gaining those dark mages in the garrison, of course. Oh, I am so antsy about getting in here. Come on. Move it. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, oh yes, it appears that they are being very steadfast indeed, our opponents. They are right there, blocking our entry point. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe we should move these guys back and launch another mage volley at them, and then, yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's try it. Okay, nearby soldiers, follow me. Yes. Okay, not as many as I wanted to pull back there, but nevertheless, I think we probably have a better chance of letting our mages spells through. Oh my, okay, yes, a lot of them. <laughs> okay, follow me, nearby soldiers, yes. There we are. Now that is actually a command that one of you sent me a private message about, and I did reply about how to do it, but if you would like to know, then it is by pressing the hyphen key, or the dash key, whatever you would like to call it. And that is, of course, next to the equals and plus signs on a standard, well, I was going to say European keyboard, but I'm not entirely sure what kind of keyboard other countries may have, so, yes. <laughs> oh, it appears that we have absolutely no enemies up here. That is very strange indeed, and I really need to get that spell shield. That is rather irritating to get hit for 21 damage right there. Look at this! Oh my goodness, he's taken it like a champ. Oh my. Okay, well, it appears that the actual castle itself is posing a couple of issues to our units, and that's why we were getting stuck here. So it appears I may indeed have to use our fireball skill to greatest effect. Oh my goodness. Look at that damage. Oh yeah, we took them all down. Or at least I hope we took most of them down. Yes, it appears we did. That is incredible damage from our fireball right there. And thankfully enough, I think, due to our increase in power throw, I was able to do a rather considerable amount of damage and with utmost accuracy. Or at least I can hope. <laughs> okay, so that is 15 renown and 37 morale. That is not too bad. Now, we did take out 318 of their units, so we do need to make sure that we have at least one space in our army. And I will be taking this guy prisoner. 
Okay, so, where are the Dark Mages? Ah, there they are. Oh no! I have a full party capacity because of our skeletons. Oh no! Oh, that's a little bit of a shame, isn't it? Hmm, maybe that's why I should have sent them in first, because they are relatively expendable. I would not really like to say that about anything, but they are somewhat weaker than what you would really like to have in your front line, so maybe that's not a good idea. However, they didn't really help us to take this, that is for sure. So, yeah, as I thought, they were not actually introduced into the fight whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we'll be getting more than 80 skeletons in this next batch of summons, so we'll have to deal with those in just a minute. So let's just make sure that we are not missing anything that is absolutely amazing. I do not believe we are missing anything else. However, I would like to take these dwarves, and that makes it a little bit tricky in terms of our company size. So, hmm, I'm not entirely sure what to move here. I think these lesser mercenary mages can probably take a break, and we will... Where are the dwarves? Ah, there they are. Good. We will take some of these. There we go. Now let's take a couple pieces of loot, and then we will head on. And we will not be asking for it. Oh yes, we are completely unselfish. Yeah, do you see that Lich King? You must award the next town to me. <laughs> Well, at least the next town I take, after all. Okay, so we are now going to proceed to move, and we will see how many we get. A hundred! A hundred zombies! Okay, well, considering Craft Castle has just come under siege, I think we will be heading over there. And on the way, I was actually going to say that we should really go to De Cuba and deposit those zombies in the garrison there, because if we are not going to use them in a fight, then they may as well be useful in a garrison to add numbers. Yes, that is my thought on it, anyway. Now, before we head in here, I'm not entirely sure who is sieging this. Okay, he only has 60 units, but... What has happened to Karef Castle? It's not been garrisoned. Well, that's a little disappointing, I must admit. Where are our vassals? Oh my. Okay, well, we will be getting some foot dwarves and also some dwarven fighters and everything else. Now, we do need some heavy infantry, very nice. High priests regular priests, mummy infantry, and some dwarf champions. Okay, so now a couple of our companions have also leveled up, Furorin being one of them, and we will be increasing his strength once more, and he does have power throw, so we may as well increase that a little bit, and we'll get some more in proficiency for him. Now Frudak, our first ever companion, we will get strength and increase his iron flesh even more. Sounds good. Okay, and... Ooh, Umi actually leveled up. Okay. That is a rare sight indeed. Okay, we will level up her strength once more. And Iron Flesh, we will just want to make it so that they don't die too easily. That is probably the best goal that we can currently have, because at the moment, they are being taken out incredibly easily. So it might be a good idea for me next time around to head to a marketplace and get them some pretty reasonable armor, as they all have around... 12 in strength now, and I think that is probably enough for them to be able to use most armor sets. Just not the heavy ones, of course. So, what do we want to do now? I think we'll probably just increase our strength even further, and then just go for power throw. As I said in the previous episode, I do want to get that dagger that comes back to you once you have thrown it. So that sounds like a good idea. And yeah, we'll just increase our two-handed again, I suppose. I can't increase throwing pole arms or one-handed weapons because I still have not increased our weapon master, which is something I really do need to do. So, hmm. Okay, so Lich King Malyron is actually around here somewhere as he is running from him, so I can pretty much just leave Karaf Castle, but Weyer Castle has come under siege from Emir Radun, I believe. And I would like to defend against him, but I would really like to get back to Decuba. So what I will do is I will cut away while I head back to Decuba. And if I am in time to get back to Weir Castle, then I will cut back there. But if not, then I will head back to Jamied and try to take that. Okay, so I believe that Weir Castle was actually defended by one of our other vassals. As you can see here, it is no longer under siege, so I had no need to head on there and defend it. So, instead, as I said, my contingency plan is to free Lord Arrowsturg from 
his imprisonment. As you can see here, he is actually in the prisoner's hold, which is rather amusing, I have to admit, considering I believe he is our marshal. Is he our marshal? I believe he is. So, yes, not entirely sure how he got taken prisoner by the Serenids, but he does have two Dark Mages as a potential reward for us. So we will be heading in here. I'm just making sure that we're not losing anything else from it. And this appears to be a siege tower. So we may have to rely more on our mages here than in the ladder castle sieges. And it will take 66 hours, which is quite considerable. I really do need to level up that engineering on... Is it Artie Mena? I believe Artie Mena is our engineer, so... Hmm. We'll have to do that sometime, and we will be accepting that. Even though it is only 1,200 dinars, I believe it is worth it to prevent any potential relation loss. Or maybe even honor loss, who knows. It has been so long since I have denied a ransom. I have forgotten <laughs> what you lose. I believe it's honor, and you may lose some relation with the actual person that is imprisoned as well. So, yeah, I think it's that. Oh. Weir Castle is no longer under siege, so apparently it did happen, and we are now losing some morale. Now, one of you did mention that my morale issues are due to the variety that I have in my army. And, of course, I mean variety as in food variety. So, yes, that is probably something to take into account. However, most of the marketplaces I have gone to, I have bought nearly every piece of food I can. So, you can only assume that the variety in that would be rather immense. However, unfortunately, due to the Saranid lands where the Delthusum Empire is currently situated, there is not too much variety to be had. So, I've done my best. I've tried to get as much bread, grapes, and various other foodstuffs, grain and so forth. And yeah, that is doing its best. However, I think the main issue is probably our army size because we are only one unit away from having a completely maxed out army and I think usually that is probably the case in this instance and I suppose there is another thing to consider and that is of course whether I'm using any units that we are currently at war with and I think the Bleeding Throat clan is still alive or wait no it was eliminated wasn't it which was quite strange because I saw a vassal from the Bleeding Throat clan defect from said clan to the Delthusum Empire, and I thought they had already been eliminated, so you would assume that all of the vassals there would have been completely defected already, and they wouldn't have worried about eliminating themselves too soon. But, hmm. Well, we will check after this, and we'll see how all of the factions are doing, and who we are at war with as well, because, of course, morale issues are never fun things to have to deal with. And we can only hope that our mages will take this guy out rather soon. But unfortunately, one of our undeads have broken free from our control. And as you can see there, one of our Drow Master Mages were able to take him down. Now, how many units remaining? 19. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, well, what I will be doing is while the Siege Tower is moving to the walls, I will cut away and I will see you once we are advancing towards the 19 enemies. Okay, so upon cutting back here, as you can see, I've just gained a triple kill by using my lightning bolt against various units up on the battlements there, and oh my, okay. These will become our loyal undead servants once we have obviously exited and cast our various dark magic. Oh my, okay, hello! You are going to take a lot of damage right there. Yes, no shock resistance whatsoever from them there. And it appears that some castles have an issue with our units being able to enter. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether I have to tell my mages to charge in here, but it appears that they are not necessarily having any success in that regard. So, it appears I will have to end this charade. Oh my. No, no. Don't shoot me. Yes, there we are. I am just as proficient with a cleaver, apparently, as I am with wielding lightning bolts, so that is wonderful. Good. Okay, so there we are. 9 Renown, 36 Morale. Not bad. We took out 160 of their units, and it took quite a while, I have to admit, for that siege tower to head to the walls. Now, as you can see here, we are freeing Lord Arosturk himself. I am in your debt for freeing me, friend. That is wonderful. We gain some honor, and we gain a huge amount of relation with him as well. And we increase our general relation with the Empire by two. 
so that is not too bad at all, if I do say so myself, and that is incredibly bad timing. Just hang on one second. Okay, my apologies about that phone call, and we are now going to be claiming our Dark Mages for our own purposes, oh yes. Now, many of these other units here I do not believe are something I want to take, however these dwarves are very tempting indeed, and I will be taking two of them. Now, as you can see though, we do have quite a few mercenary mages that I would really like to take, but as you can see, we are currently inundated with units every which way we look, so... I think we're basically just going to be leaving them, even though, yeah, it's never really a good idea to leave, is it? Ah. Yeah, I think I just have to. There's nothing I can do about it. And we still have a couple of spaces for our loot here, so let's take a few. And of course, we will be asking no rewards. And as a result, we have Yamira, Mateld, and Aiden. Both advancing, or shall we say all advancing in level. Wonderful. So there we are, zero units right there. I will be moving to gain 53 zombies, and then we will place these in the garrison to hopefully look after it until one of the other vassals lays claim to it and starts garrisoning it with proper units. So yes, that should be rather nice of them. Now, we will level up our units here, and we will take a look at the various units that we can now level up in our companions. Oh yes. So let's level up intelligence once again with Aiden. And what else do we want to get here? I think we probably want to get... Oh. Hmm. I was going to say... I think Trainer might be good actually. Should it? Would it? I do not know. Let's take a look actually. Okay, so we have first aid surgery one. Hmm. Roran has Engineer, of course, the others are all injured, so they are not contributing. Maybe a backup medic? Perhaps. No, I think Trainer will be fine. Let's go with that. Let's get some more throwing skill for him. And now Matteld. All of these fellows could definitely use a shield, because as you can see, none of the infantry companions that we currently have have shields, so... Yeah, not entirely sure what's going on with that, but, hmm, we'll have to get them some. And Yumira does have a shield, which is rather nice. Now, Intelligence we will be leveling up, and we'll be giving her Surgery, and I think Wound Treatment would be fine. So let's go with that, and we'll go for Throwing Skill. There we are, great. Okay, so, I think we will now be ending this episode off here, and next time on Fantasy Cow Radia, the Saranids only own two more strongholds. So if a Nuzdak has not been taken by any of our fellow vassals, I will be heading on there and taking it very swiftly indeed, and then we'll head on to Ikimur and hopefully take that as well to further consolidate the Adelthusum Empire's territory. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.